I've got a faded cat eye smoky eye tutorial for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. I did post a picture on my Instagram and a bunch of you guys have been patiently waiting. So thanks for waiting and let's begin. Although I have a foundation routine that I will link in the description box, I just wanted to quickly show you guys how I do my foundation. I am using the Chanel Vital Lumiere Aqua in shade uh, number 30, and I'm just buffing this into my skin using the usual Kabuki brush by Sigma. I will have all the links and all the names in the description box, including some discount codes, so be sure to check that out for more details. For my concealer, I'm choosing NW20 by MAC, and this is the Pro Longwear Concealer. Applying this all over my eye, including my eyelid, because this is going to play as my primer as well. So applying and buffing it into my skin, again, with the same Kabuki brush. And of course, don't forget to set your makeup with a translucent powder. Alright, to highlight, I'm using a gold highlighter, and this one is by MAC, although unfortunately it is discontinued, but it's a great highlighter, so I'm applying it on the high points of my cheeks as well as my brow bone. And the reason why I like to apply this on my brow bone as well is because I like to connect all the dots, so I don't want highlighter just on the high points of my cheeks, I want it all to be really well connected and blended. A little bit of highlighter on top of my nose, and then on to contouring. Using a fluffy brush like this one, I like to bronze the sides of my nose as well as the tip of my nose. Alright, using the same bronzer, by the way, this is a NARS bronzer that just came out. It's really great because it's matte and it is a nice warm color. So it's great for contouring and it does give you a nice tan as well. So it's great for that. Um, so you want to get this on the hollows of your cheeks, um, a little bit on your forehead and of course your jawline. So of course contouring brings out your features. So it's a really important step. And using one of my favorite blushes by Sigma and applying this on the apples of my cheeks. Alright, here comes an important part. You want to grab your Kabuki brush and as you can see I'm like dabbing and sort of blending out everything so that there are no harsh edges and everything is really well blended together. Um, the last thing you want is really harsh edges when you contour. Everything needs to just seem very natural and seamless. I like this trick because it really does blend everything together. And of course, filling in my brows and making them just a little bit thicker. Alright, on to my eyes. I'm using this Beauty Addict eyeshadow palette. I love this eyeshadow palette because it's your neutrals and it's got a tiny bit of shimmer where you need it and it's got matte ivory colors for the brow bone so I really like it. So I did apply the champagne color all over my lid and now for my brow bone I'm using that matte ivory color to highlight my brow bone. I also like to use this matte color on the inner corners of my eyes because it's really bright. It does open up the eye. Now to intensify the outer corners, I'm using that dark color and it's a dark brown color and it is matte so it's great. Um, and I'm basically applying this really close to my lash line. Once you apply the color really close to your lash line, you want to start to blend it. So grab a fluffy brush like this one and begin to blend. So once you start to blend it, you can definitely start to intensify a little bit more. So again, grabbing a flat brush, I'm applying this sort of in a sideways V shape. So applying it really close to my um, lash line and then also on my crease. And of course, grabbing my fluffy brush and blending it really well. Alright, we are still not done with blending, so blend, 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 and of course deposit as much color as you need to. Alright, I'm grabbing this warm color. This is by MAC, and it's got a really nice reddish tone to it. And I'm applying this on my crease because it is going to give me a nice warmth and a transitional color all at the same time. Alright, next, because we just blended all the colors together, you definitely still want to see some of that lightness, so reapply some of those colors if you need to. 
All right, next up is this Maybelline Gel Eyeliner. So I'm gonna apply this really, really close to my lash line. And as you can see, I did extend the inner corners a little bit because this is going to elongate my eye. So small strokes really is the trick to getting a straight line. So instead of one full line, you definitely wanna make small strokes. So keeping your eye open when creating a cat eye is very important because you see exactly where you place your cat eye. So once you do that, you want to also apply this on the bottom lash line, but go about halfway and that's where you wanna stop. As you can see, my cat eye is connected. So top and bottom are both connected. And once you do that and you need to straighten out your cat eye, you can definitely grab a straight brush and clean out the edges. Apply a black or brown liner on the inner rim of your eye, depending on how dark you want the look to be, and then begin to blend the bottom lash line. First, I'm blending it with an, just a clean brush and then applying a little bit of shadow and gradually smoking it out into a nice brown color. So this is another important step for this look. You want to grab a straight brush like this one, dip it into a black eyeshadow, and go over your entire eyeliner. And while you're doing that, you want to blend it just a little bit, especially on the outer corners, because this is what's going to give it that nice faded cat eye smoky effect. Of course, several coats of mascara on both top and bottom lashes. For my lashes, I'm choosing House of Lashes, and these are called Pixie Lux. They are amazing, especially for this look, because a look like this definitely requires some nice, full lashes. I'm going to also apply bottom lashes. I know it's kind of tricky and sounds a little intimidating, but you can totally do it, and I'm going to show you how. The best way to apply bottom lashes is to use tweezers. So first, apply the outer corners, and once the outer corner is nice and glued, then you wanna stick the inner corners as close to your lash line as possible. I really think that applying lower lashes is so much easier than upper lashes. Trust me, give it a try and you'll know what I'm talking about. And some last minute touches, so reapplying the eyeliner and intensifying the outer corners a little bit more. To finish the look, I am using Socialite by Lorac. This is a beautiful lipstick color. In fact, it made it to my favorites video last week. Not sure if you guys got a chance to check it out, but I will link it down below in case you want to. The lip liner is by NYX, and topping everything off with this Lorac lip gloss. It's a beautiful color again. It just completes the look. All right, guys, the look is complete. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'd love to read them. And if you are on Instagram, my username name is Makeup by Sona. I will have the link in the description box. You can check it out. It's a great place to leave your requests. So I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye!